Hey there crafters, it's Louise with you today. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I am sharing a new scrap timber video with you today. This one is actually for the 19th, which is a diagonal prompt. And I am not uh, quite sure how I ended up on the 19th. I was working from the 1st, 14th, um, uh, 21st, 28th, I was doing one project a week and somehow I ended up looking at the prompt for the 19th which was diagonal and I created a diagonal layout to share with you and it doesn't actually fit in with my schedule but you know what I like it so I'm going to share it anyway. So my idea for the diagonal was to create um, and cut different size photos in these strips and run them from the top left to the top right. So I had to find a series of photos, which is quite a challenge for me because I don't print a lot of series. I like to print single photos, um, but I did manage to go through my printed photo stash and find all these photos of my husband and they are from various parts of our life. So they are all different times and I may have already scrapped these so you can see that I am actually cutting out some parts that are not um, priority which could be my face it could be another person I really wanted this to be just photos of him throughout our life and I'm going to put them in kind of chronological order to almost show the different stages so um, the uh, the wood paper came into effect because I had a small accident when tearing out my background paper from the paper pad. It came on and I ripped half of it off. So I had to get a little bit creative and actually, um, yeah, add that wood. I had to add something at the bottom there to, uh, yeah, to, to cover up that little mistake that I'd made. Now you can see to really highlight that diagonal um, element that I've added, I've gone ahead and added some stitches. Stitching, um, just with my machine so a little bit of stitching on those diagonals is just going to help draw your eye from that top left to that bottom right hand side now one of the um, favorite things that I'm loving about scrap timber is that there's no pressure to use anything other than the criteria so you can use whatever collection you feel suits and at this stage I had um, this particular collection from Echo Park just sitting on my desk it was one that I had purchased and hadn't got around to using because I'd been working on some other uh, DT projects and some stuff in the background so I decided that, you know, this was on my desk, let's use it. And once I started to have a bit of a play around with the colors, um, I sort of decided that I wanted to add um, a little bit more uh, color to the background. So I pull out my watercolor palette. Now I'm not treating my background paper in any way. And you can see that with my pencil, I have simply just drawn um, some uh, pencil lines just to to work out where my um, photos are actually going to go so that I can add my color around it and what I want to do is I want to actually sort of blend those colors into each other so I don't want them to sort of overlap as such but I want them to um, yeah to really flow to have that flow from that top left to that bottom right and you can see that I'm adding a light amount of color first and then as I'm sort of building it and working along I'm going to add more and more color I'm also just using that same um, part for some splatters as well uh, just yeah having some fun with this sort of diagonal rainbow in the background so um, not uh, not the way I intended to start this particular project, but I'm, I'm really happy with how this one turned out. And that's why I decided that even though it uh, hurts my OCD brain to actually share something on the 19th when I've been sharing one a week, I definitely think this one had to, um, had to go out into that YouTube world to be shared with um, everybody that was playing along with Scrap Timber. All right, once I am happy with uh, my background layers, it's really just a matter of some embellishing left to do on this particular page. So the adding of the colors um, without the photos over the top um, almost looks a little bit wrong. Looks like it doesn't blend in, but I definitely think that as we start to um, look at those colors, when the photos come into it, you can see the difference you can see um, just having that little pop of color really highlights those photos and again draws the eye so keeping it from that top left to that bottom right um, really to to enable you to um, have something very interesting to look at 
A uh, little bit of distressing on some of my edges. Um, I'm going to stick everything down and then simply just adding a few little bits and pieces, some hearts, a couple of, uh, yeah, a couple of fun little elements just to help highlight this particular page and bring it all together. So I um, definitely had a lot of fun with this page. I hope that it has been something that inspires you and that it might um, get you thinking a little bit about creating in these colors or in this diagonal frame or even just using up a few extra photos that you have lying around. I'm going to leave you there. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that if you haven't already you are a subscriber or think about hitting that little subscribe button and that you're having fun with the scrap timber prompts.